Looks a little nervous to get things underway. Her first event here. It's interesting, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of people just hanging the gold medal around her neck. Compete at the heptathlon, and here she is with a great opportunity to uh, maybe get amongst the medals. Who knows? Katrina Johnson Thompson then. If anything, it's just following them in the home straight. White well, gets out very quickly, as expected. Katrina Johnson Thompson just trying to stay with the Canadian, and it's the Australian who's going very much on the on the uh, far side, and she's going to win this ahead of Andrew White, 13.18. That's a good performance. Katrina Johnson Thompson probably around 13.5ish, solid, no mistakes. We did have a faller there. It looks like Katie Stainton who's down on the track. With that, Johnson Thompson raised the bar, literally and figuratively. Johnson Thompson, first attempt, 187, and gets it comfortably. Johnson Thompson in control now. Perfect sheet so far. Great jump. Well, catch Johnson Thompson, based on what we've seen so far, hasn't brought her A game to this heptathlon. And another, well, she doesn't need her A game. She doesn't need her B game, in fact. Her best so far, 11 meters 36. It's around the same sort of a distance, but over a meter down on what she threw indoors just a month or so ago. 11 meters 54. But here's the pre-event favorite, the world indoor champion, Katarina Johnson Thompson in lane five. The second fastest in the field, Angela White in lane number eight. KJT looking for a quick time and big points. So a clean start and a fast start by Kat. Flying round the bend in lane number five. White is expected going well of Canada in lane number eight. But when she swings into the home straight, Katarina Johnson Thompson looking for the time, looking for the points, looking to finish. Overnight in the lead in this heptathlon, unofficially 23.57 seconds. Well, it wasn't sub 23 seconds over this 200 meter distance, but it's over a thousand points for her in the final event of day one. In this fifth event, six meters 20, fairly modest for her. World junior champion in the long jump, remember? And she has jumped 692 in the past. Johnson Thompson, round two of the heptathlon long jump, and that's a bit better. Just lost a little bit as she cut the sand there, but it is an improvement on the six meters 20. Very nicely indeed for Cat Johnson Thompson. Six meters 50. Good jump. Cat Johnson Thompson here way out in front she just needs something solid here she can enjoy the rest of her day breezing her way towards another title johnson thompson first round of the javelin penultimate event of the heptathlon she's in the lead overall well it's over 40 meters good start for johnson thompson that's exactly what she would have wanted Season's best of 41.72. So the world indoor champion now looks destined to become the Commonwealth champion. A little hint of a smile. We haven't seen too much of that from Kat over the last couple of days. And I'm sure she'll be delighted to put this to bed. Right, so I've talked about the points. In terms of time, let, let, let's assume that Kat's going to go out and uh, just make sure of the gold medal here. In terms of time, Emerson needs to make up about eight seconds. Sorry, no point. Excuse me, I'll say that again. About eight seconds on the young Australian who started very, very slowly indeed. The two Australians right at the back. So eight seconds at the pace that they're going to be running is the, is the best part of half of the home straight. Maybe not quite as much as that. And uh, Emerson has started pretty quickly. Steve, it's a tall ask, tall order, but she could well do it. She definitely could, Steve. Neve Emerson in pursuit of a bronze medal. She is a national indoor champion as an under-15 at 800 metres. She's comfortable across the two laps. 
And Neve Emerson is striding away from Muchi, the Australian, who's performed very nicely. But Emerson going very well indeed. Cat Johnson Thompson just doing the bare minimum to get the gold. Rather surprisingly, it's the 100 meter hurdle specialist who's out in front. Good first lap, 65. It's not that fast, and Emerson goes past. Katrina Johnson Thompson just starting to get moving a little bit, and I make the gap already about seven seconds. So Emerson just find, needs to find a little bit more. Muchi is trying to respond, the Australian, and the crowd doing their best, their best to help her, but Schultz looks safe in the silver medal position. Except Emerson is continuing to put some distance between herself and Schultz. So you're a massive amount to make up, 12 seconds on uh, the Canadians. She's not going to do that, and Katrina johnson Thompson has obviously decided I'm not bothered about winning this 800 metres. She may try and get through for second, but Emerson is flying now around that top bend and is extending all the time. Emerson is heading towards the bronze medal here. A brilliant run from the Derby athlete, and she is coming into the home straight. Schultz is responding. She's going to hang on to the silver, and Emerson striding away. What a moment for her at the Commonwealth Games. She's going to win the final event of the heptathlon and takes the bronze medal, I'm pretty sure. We will confirm that, of course. Schultz will gain the silver, but the gold will go to Katrina Johnson-Thompson as she crosses the line in about 2.23. She has performed well, you know, not the best we've seen her, but she's done enough to take gold here. Hat off to her to add that to her world indoor title. But uh, Neve Emerson, what a bright future she has in front of her, fighting her way towards a bronze medal there. Great to see that. Delighted for her. Denise, um, a few tears, I think they may be in pain as much as anything else. I just wonder whether she's really hurt herself. It's gold for England and bronze for England in the women's heptathlon. Let's hope it's nothing that's going to jeopardise the rest of her season. Yeah, I mean, a, a fantastic gold medal for her. She has worked so hard through these two days. It is tough competition. She's raised a game at every level um, and she's enjoyed it. And to come away with a bronze medal, oh, it's, it's the most amazing feeling. I, I felt that in 2006 and um, I know how she'll be feeling right now. She'll be absolutely made up the excitement of what's to come for her. But for Katarina Johnson-Thompson, the second gold in a major championships this year, and it's only April, Michael. Uh, she's done a really solid lot of work, hasn't she, over the winter to get through those two. Yeah, and I mean, I think, I mean, it, it, hopefully this continues to be a confidence builder and hopefully she continues to learn more about herself as an... Katarina Johnson-Thompson. But it was utter domination from Kat Johnson-Thompson, the world indoor champion, now the Commonwealth champion. And the sixth time an English athlete has stood at the top of a Commonwealth roster in the heptathlon. And now it's the turn of Katarina Johnson-Thompson. The perfect start to 2018.